There's this girl. Her name is Maggie. Maggie is in 10th grade, and just like all of the other kids in her grade, she loves to hang out with friends, play sports, and spend all the time outside that she can. One day, Maggie was on the phone, and she was offered a spot on a travel soccer team that was incredibly hard to get on. She was ecstatic. The only thing is that every practice would be an hour away from her house. Maggie told her parents about this team, but also about the downside of the tryout location. Maggie's parents were beyond supportive when it came to anything and everything Maggie wanted to do, so they insisted that she take this amazing opportunity, no matter how long the drive was. The first practice Maggie went to, her parents also went to, in order to meet her new coach. When Maggie and her parents arrived at the field, they were getting all kinds of weird looks from the other parents and kids that were already there. Maggie never took to heart that her family was different because everyone in her hometown knew about it. Maggie has two moms. From the moment Maggie stepped on the field, her moms knew it wasn't going to go as they hoped. Her parents went to talk to the coach, but he seemed too busy with other things to have a conversation with them, and when they tried to talk to the, to the parents, it was even worse. Meanwhile, Maggie was trying to introduce herself to her new teammates, but they also seemed to be really rude and exclusive. When it was time for practice to start, Maggie could feel the tension between her and the whole team. She was really uncomfortable. The whole time during practice, the girls would intentionally pass the ball to anyone but Maggie, and the coach would pick out little flaws that he saw in Maggie. The practice was finally over, and it was time to make the hour-long journey back home. The ride home was quiet, and no one knew what to say. A week later, Maggie still wasn't herself. Her, she seemed to be a lot more stressed than normal, and her grades were slowly dropping. Maggie's parents didn't know what to do. They thought maybe it was a stage, but several days had passed and she still wasn't herself. They tried talking to her, but she was still upset. Then they remembered that a few months ago, they had heard about a support group for children with same-sex parents. The first meeting, Maggie was a little uncomfortable, but there was one boy there that was incredibly nice to her. His name was Tom. Maggie and Tom got to talking and she found out that he also had two moms. Tom really loved playing soccer and being outside just like Maggie. As the time went on, Tom and Maggie began hanging out a lot more outside of the support group and Maggie began to see what a sensitive, nurturing, amazing guy Tom was and they eventually started dating. A few years had passed and Maggie and Tom were now seniors at the same college only a few months away from graduation. It had been a long journey for Maggie as she didn't know what she wanted to do when she first entered college, but she really wanted to do something that would be worthwhile and that she'd be proud about later in life. Maggie finally decided to major in criminal justice in order to become a police officer. She wanted to stray from the stereotypical nurse position that a lot of girls seem to be pursuing nowadays. Tom, on the other hand, has known what he wanted to be for years. He is majoring in elementary education because he loves working with kids and is nurturing when it comes to all of their needs and personalities. As you could guess, Tom and Maggie eventually got married and had three beautiful children. They knew that from their childhood experiences that they were going to raise their children to respect everyone and their families and not discriminate against anyone because of how they had been raised. It doesn't matter if you're raised with two moms, two dads, or a mom and a dad. All that matters is if the child is able to trust their parents from the beginning and know that their parents are always there for them.